Here we will talk about the possibilities when setting a combination slider with PIVCV like TA modulator or TA compact pin. A big advantage of using PIVCV is that we know at which setting which flow will be limited by the valve. Since the TA slider has all valve settings and flows in its memory, we now have the possibility to set the actuator to limit on flow instead of on stroke only. An additional option is then that we can communicate this information via the bus when using a bus actuator, of course. So let's look at the first and easiest way to preset a modulator for a certain flow. This is the mechanical option. We set the presetting wheel to a certain position related to the flow indicated in our data sheets or selection software. And then after mounting the slider, it will perform a calibration, thus stroke detection, and will function depending on this maximum set stroke. Now you still have the possibility to enter the valve into the high tune settings, which gives you the advantage that it will indicate the flow. The second and a more advanced option is that we don't limit the setting mechanically on the valve, but in the high tune app. Therefore, we need to set the valve to the maximum position, which is 10 and definitely not X. So let's connect to a TA slider now uh, to do this with high tune. Now we're connecting to TA slider 160 in Modbus. Uh, we could have selected or chosen any of the slider actuators in the range, uh, but here a uh, slider 160 Modbus, which I have connected to a modulator 15. So let's check first if we have properly done the presetting, the mechanically presetting to position 10. So we go into general and look for the calibration tab. Voila calibration and we see a detected stroke of 3.96 so this is the four millimeter maximum stroke of a modulator dn15 okay we go back to the main screen and then you see we have a valve the valve tab we click from imi hydronic of course and then you see the uh, presetting is ta modulator so we don't have to change anything here only send the flow data to actuator to have this information in the live screen and persist the changes now we can set our stroke limitation so we go into stroke and then you see the limited stroke is at the moment 4.02 millimeters the stroke limitation is already on the only thing we have to do is uh, to set the correct stroke limitation. So we click on stroke limitation, the fourth option we have here. And then you see that we are now presetting on stroke. As we have set the proper valve of the correct valve, we can also limit on flow as Hytune uh, knows which setting for which slow flow. So now we change into, for example, 250 liters and you saw the minimum and maximum values appearing. Limited stroke is 3.07 millimeters, which is equal to a flow of 250 liters. Again, we persist the changes to, uh, to have everything saved correctly. And we see in the live screen uh, now that the maximum position is 3.07 millimeters. So now I will show you what happens when we ask the valve to go fully open. Uh, so I just reverse the input signal to 10 volts to be fully open. You see that uh, the actuator is retracting, so the, the valve is opening. And there you see the position is now 2.55 to 72 up to 3.07 millimeter, which is equal to a presetting of 5.8 out of 10 to have the 250 liters. We can also set a minimum stroke. Here we click on minimum stroke in the stroke limitation menu. And again, we can select on flow or uh, millimeters uh, so to have a flow running through the valve at all times.